Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Gareth here from tastycheats.com. In the last episode, we learned how to apply color adjustments to raster image layers in Photoshop. We learned that when applying a color adjustment to a raster image layer, it will have a destructive effect. Now, there is an alternative feature that allows us to apply color effects to our layers very much the same as using adjustments, but in a non-destructive way. These are called adjustment layers. In this tutorial, I will be discussing adjustment layers, how we use them, and why we use them. I will also be referencing an additional video I have created previously. In this video, I will only be covering the very basics of adjustment layers, though in the additional tutorial, I will be going into more depth of how to use adjustment layers, so I strongly recommend you watch this when we come to it. By the end of watching this tutorial and watching the other video, you will know everything you will need to know about adjustment layers. So to follow along with this video, you will need to open this document I have prepared especially for this tutorial. This document can be found in the Essential Practice folder in the Project folder. Now you can download this project folder for free, the download link is in the description. So with the Project folder open, click Essential Practice, open the Adjustment Layers folder and open the Adjustment Layers PSD, then you should have something that looks like this. Now in this video, I will be referring to the Properties panel. If you wish to follow along, you too will need your Properties panel visible. If you cannot see your Properties panel, you can come up to Window, scroll down and activate it there. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to drag mine out from my panel set so you can clearly see what's going on. So just like in the previous video, on the left we have some examples of raster image layers and on the right a smart object layer. So if we take a look at the examples on the left, we can see that clearly we have two very different color effects applied. Now if we look in the layers panel, we will notice something we have not seen up until this point on the course. If we look closely, we can see what appear to be layers on top of the two bird raster layers in the layers panel. Well, these are in fact adjustment layers. Here we can see a hue saturation applied to the top layer and a black and white applied to the bottom layer. Now check this out. So on each of the layers, we have a button to toggle the visibility of the layer. So I'm going to toggle the visibility of each of these adjustment layers and all of a sudden, each of the examples are back to the original image. If I come back and turn on the visibility again, we will see the effect applied. Now, if I click onto each of the adjustment layers, notice in the properties panel, we have the values in order to toggle the current effect. For example, on the hue saturation, I'll tweak the hue like so, and we can see the color change in the image. So instead of permanently changing the image, like using adjustments, as seen in the previous video, here we can apply a non-destructive layer in the Layers panel. Pretty cool, right? So when applying color adjustments to images in Photoshop, I would always recommend using adjustment layers over simple adjustments, as you will have the flexibility to change and turn off your effects as you please. So now let's come across to the Smart Object layer, now, in the Layers panel, it does not matter what type of layer you have, a type layer, a smart object layer, a raster layer, or a shape layer. You will be able to apply an adjustment layer to any kind of layer. So let's see how this is done. And I'm going to apply an adjustment layer to my bird smart object here on the right. So before we apply an adjustment layer to a particular layer, we must first select it in the Layers panel. So I'm going to come over and select the bird smart object, and just like our example over on the left, I want to apply a hue saturation adjustment layer. So with the layer selected, I'll come down to the bottom of the layers panel. At the bottom of the panel, we have some icons. Now the one we want to pay attention to here is the add adjustment layer icon. This is the circle icon, half white and half black, fourth from the left. So I'll click this icon and up will pop a list of adjustment effects. Now you may be familiar with the options we have here. They are very similar to the adjustments we applied in the previous video. So from this list, I'll go ahead and select the hue saturation. So upon click, we will now see a new adjustment layer appear on top of my bird smart object layer. Great. Also, you will notice that the properties panel will now spring to life and we can see the familiar effect values we can toggle. So I'll go ahead and change the hue. 
Now, as I do so, notice that not only is my smart object image changing color, but also the raster image over on the left. Now, why is this? Well, adjustment layers work to apply the effect to any layer below them in the layers panel. As we can see, this adjustment layer exists at the top of the layers panel. So as I tweak the values of the hue, every layer below will be affected. Now, since the other layer is black and white, the hue adjustment will not apply to this. Now, there is a way, however, to make this adjustment layer only apply to the layer immediately below it on the layers panel. So if we look closely in the layers panel, we can see that the other adjustment layers applied to the layers below have these small arrows. Well, this means that these adjustment layers only apply to the layer immediately below. So with my new adjustment layer selected in the layers panel, over in the properties panel, if we look at the bottom of the panel, we have some icons here. So what I need to do is click the bottom left icon. This is an adjustment clip action. By clicking this icon, it will set the adjustment layer to only apply to the layer immediately below. So upon click, we will see a little arrow appear on the new adjustment layer, and it will only apply to the smart object layer below. Excellent. So that's a brief introduction to how we can use adjustment layers in Photoshop. Now, there is a lot more to be learned about using adjustment layers. If you would like to learn more, such as applying masks to adjustment layers and using multiple adjustment layers on a single layer, I recommend you watch my other tutorial where I go into this in a lot more detail. Simply click the screen or find the link in the description or in the course PDF. This is essential training for any beginner to Photoshop. After watching this video, you will have a complete understanding on how to use adjustment layers. Now in Photoshop, there are a wide range of filters that enable us to completely change and manipulate the physical appearance of an image layer to create various visual effects. In the next video, we are going to learn about filters in Photoshop. See you in the next video.